Now after you open the switch you have to clean it. And therefore you take the degreaser and spray a little bit into the switch body. Then put it aside and do the same to the back plate. Then you encase the switch body and take compressed air to blow away the degreaser together with the old lubrication. But the degreaser can seriously hurt your eyes, so the encasement has to be really safe. And also when you blow with the air, don't look at the thing you do, just look away to protect your eyes. And after that you can see that all of the old lubrication is away and the switch is completely cleaned. And then do the same to the back plate. To clean the moving part in the switch you don't use degreaser because it maybe attacks the rubber piece. Here you just use a lot of compressed air and the cloth. You see drops of lubrication coming out of the piece. The test if you have cleaned this piece enough is to assemble it with the switch body operating a bit and if there are no areas of loop then you have finished. Now we will cut away these little free plastic pieces. You start with one and press the knife against the top edge to remove a thin layer. Then do this over and over again until the stopper isn't there anymore. and try not to scratch the area where the rubber piece is moving. Sometimes you have to use a lot of force but don't be too rude to your Lego.
then do the same to the other two. After you removed all three, you can go a bit more in detail so that it also looks quite nice. And that's it. Now assemble the black moving piece and look how smoothly it turns. Hold the switch body between your fingers very safe. Set at a 2mm drill and operate. And the inlet will center itself. And then you can see the big size difference. And don't drill too long because the plastic gets hot. Now you take compressed air and blow away plastics if there are some. But the bad are the residues at the drill and you have to remove them. To do this you take the 4mm drill in your hand and drill a bit over the holes with nearly no pressure. Do this very careful. At 
first you hear a scratchy noise. But when it gets more smooth, then you can stop. And you can do the exactly same for the outside, but you don't have to be that careful there. There are plastic parts which you can't remove with the 4mm drill, then just take the knife and cut them away. Now you can take the brush to remove more of the residues. And after that you can use some compressed air again. And you are finished with step 3.